Hey, what's up, Black Tree TV? What's up, fam? This is your boy, Sean Edwards. Once again, we got another hot exclusive. This time, I'm at Lucasfilm. You know, the place where they make all the movie magic happen. This time, I'm taking you behind the scenes of the brand new hot summer blockbuster, Pacific Rim Store, and your guy, Idris Elba. That's right, I sit down and talk with my man who's blowing up right now. So all you gotta do is just sit back and watch. <laughs> to believe in each other. The day we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. Cool. All right, here we go. I got to take care of some official business real quick, sure. and I'm going to get with you Do just a thing. second. I got to say congratulations, because I haven't hollered at you since you won the Golden Globe. Yeah, man. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Also, congratulations on your Nelson Mandela project. Thank you. That's coming later down the line. Yes, sir. And also, congratulations, because Entertainment Weekly said The Wire is the all-time greatest TV series in the history of television. Wowza. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's big. That's big. That's big. That's, that's, why, big. I, that's why I had to handle that <laughs> business big, yeah. up yeah. top. Uh, what was the name of your show again? Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't worry about it. This is, this is your moment. No, no, no. This no, is I, your no, moment. We, we, had to, we had to lock that down, so congratulations. Thank you for that. I no, 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 it, man. Yeah. We so were just having this discussion. Yes, you really? just put the cherry on the cake right there. You just don't know. Thank you there very you much. There you go. Now, my man, let's talk about this crazy world that both of you are involved in in Pacific Rim. Like, man, it's nuts. Describe it. Well, it's, you know, it's the apocalypse. We're facing the end of the world. Giant monsters have come to destroy everything, and uh, and it's it's a beautiful story about mankind coming together, forget dropping our petty differences, and creating some giant giant robots called Jaegers to come kick their ass. It's crazy, Basically, right? You know, it's real crazy. Up defend our planet. Screen. Yeah. Now talk about working with my man, the mad scientist Guillermo. I mean, that, that was, a, for me, that was like, a, he said it yesterday, it was a master class. You know, you're watching someone that knows exactly what he wants to make. Every single frame, every single layer, depth is already sort of in his head. He sees it, you know, and just watching him bring, bring that together piece by piece, man. You know, I was really daunted by the script when I read it, thinking, wow, I don't know how we're actually going to bring this together. You know, it's, right. it's huge. You know, where, how, do you, how do you even start on that? You know, of course, CGI, but... When we when we got to the set and we saw the level of detail in, in the in, on the actual sets, you realized that you know this guy was making something that was a pretty much a masterpiece. The Shatter Dome was you know ex ex stupid to walk through. It was amazing. Plus, can we just talk about this for one second? You rescued her. You raised her. You're not protecting her now. You are holding her back. One, don't you ever touch me again. Two, don't you ever touch me again. Now, you have no idea who the hell I am or where I've come from, and I'm not about to tell you my whole life story. All I need to be to you and everybody on this dome is a fixed point. The last man standing. I do not need your sympathy or your admiration. All I need is your compliance and your fighting skills. And if I can't get that, then you can go back to the wall that I found you crawling on. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. Yeah, both of you have had like crazy <laughs> careers, but were you just a little bit in awe on this project? Just a little bit? No yeah, I mean, I've never been involved in anything close yeah. to the scale of this project. There's I mean, no what Guillermo has achieved in creating this world, and you know, like like Idris was saying, I don't think there's anybody out there working in Hollywood who's more qualified and has more passion and more imagination to bring a world like this into focus the way mm. Guillermo has. I mean, you uh, you saw the film, right? You, oh yeah. You, he brings you into this world that's just so textured and original and exciting. I have to say, you know, like I'm a I'm a fan of Batman, Christopher. 
Nolan. I think right. what he's done, but you know, you know, you see what you know what is capable. I think legendary pictures who produced that. There's a, there's an imprint there, you know, of like you know, we'll take a world that is fantastical and we'll really blow it up, and you know, you feel like you're surrounded by it. All right, I like that word. That's that's a great <clears throat> word. Blow it up. Back when you were a kid, back in the day, you know, summertime, major for movies. What's that one movie that just blew you away? It was like, ugh, that's my joint right there. That just opened in the middle it, of the Independence summer. Day did that for me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit it. Independence Day was pretty out there for me, man. Right. But I what about it? What moved you? Was it Will Swagger? Yeah, just... the swag. The you know, just the, again the human story, man. Like you know, everyone coming together. You know, those moments where Will's looking into Vivica's eyes. He's like, baby, I'm gonna be all right. I'll be back. You know what I mean? That was. <laughs> <to me. laughs> Me, and what was your moment? What's your moment that just was like boom, 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 I boom, remember boom. my yeah, my aunt took me to a, the Star Wars trilogy, the the original three Star Wars. We watched them all over the course of I don't know what it was, seven or eight hours, back to back in a marathon nice. in the movie theater. And I, I just remember wow. that being a great Ooh. transformative oh, day. Do you remember the eat. Death Star blowing up, man? Yeah. That was that big moment right there. And, uh, was that Empire Strikes Back, right? I don't remember no? which one. Oh, you saw all three, right? Yeah, <laughs> but but I don't actually think. Again, Again, since then, and I was eight years old at the time, and I was like, come on, putting me on. We're, we're putting it on today. It's not about the details, it's about right. getting blown up. That's, That's right. <laughs> All right, man. All right, so you got to let me do